my name is Paul Horrocks. I'm here today talking to uh, Dr. Uh, Wirin Batiani, who's a Bolton GP and chairman of the Bolton Clinical Commissioning uh, Group, about the Healthier Together programme, which is probably the biggest programme of change that the NHS has seen in Greater Manchester. We're in. There's a, a lot of uh, discussion about uh, Healthier Together and what it means for the Greater Manchester conurbation. Can you just sum up, as a long-standing GP in Bolton, having a 30 years experience, what does Healthier Together mean for you as a GP and what does it mean for the residents of Bolton? Healthier Together for me is very, very simple. It means uh, raising quality for our patients, it means saving lives for our patients. The main note of Healthy Together, as you know, is about getting better outcomes for our patients when they need that life-saving operation. If they're in Bolton, the ambulance will, at the moment, take them to, to Bolton Hospital. If they see their GP in Bolton at the moment, the GP will refer them to, to Bolton. Now, when they get to Bolton, it depends on the time of the day, day of the week, as to what happens to them. But in the new world that we want to uh, implement, the new one service specialism, where we have uh, a number of specialist centres across uh, Greater Manchester. And remember, uh, it may be that Bolton is one of them, but currently this is what the consultation is about. But if Bolton is not one of the specialist centres, the ambulance crew, when they're called, they will be specially trained to make that decision as to what your need is. If they feel that your need is for the specialist uh, treatment, they will take it to the nearest specialist centre. Obviously one of the things that people will be concerned about are travelling times to hospitals, whether it's a local general or whether it's a specialist hospital in an ambulance. There are nationally laid guidelines about those travelling times. Could you explain that to us please? Well the national standards which have been in operation for some time now and these are accepted all over the country. If you need an emergency need to a place of safety where you can be stabilised is 20 minutes. And we know that by having these specialist centres across the GM, these standards will be strictly adhered to. For a journey that, uh, what we call a blue light journey to a specialist centre, should be no more than 45 minutes for anybody. And we know that this time frame is a safe time frame. It's been well tested and well accepted by all the specialists. Now, if you are a relative, for example, and a lot of people worry about the journey times getting to a specialist centre, the standard for that is 75 minutes and two, no more than two bus journeys. We've heard the pledge that no hospital and no accident and emergency department will close as part of this programme. How does the shared service mean that local general hospital services get better even though it's not a specialist centre? The way we're going to improve it is we spent a lot of time last two years talking with clinicians, discussing with top specialists to get quality standards in place. There's a number of quality standards in place and it's really important that every hospital delivers those quality standards. The great advantage of having this one system is that our scarce resource of specialist uh, consultants will be focused on looking at the whole system, not just their specialist uh, hospital. They'll be looking after the general hospitals as well as. That's the advantage of belonging to a family of hospitals. So that family then almost enforces the improvement in quality and standards right across the piece. Exactly.